Good afternoon. It is June the 6th, 2016, D-Day from, what, 70-plus years ago. I didn't do the math quickly. A lot of good men died that day on the beach. Uh, we came in this morning, buyers. We like the buy side. We no reason not to get stops above uh, 2106.75, and you can see that we did get stops above them. Here's Yellen's speech. We said also said that Yellen's speech would probably be the biggest news impact uh, of the day. That was true. I mean, this was the trade of the day. If you didn't take this retest failure trade and get long there, I mean, we were in that trade. Um, we were in these two trades in here. Went nowhere. We passed on those. Uh, this retest failure finally broke. But it was really, 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 I mean, for couple hours there was just nothing going on if you didn't catch this first trade of the day and I think that's going to be the case for most of the summer Yellen speaks retest failure winning trade another retest failure winning trade uh, none of, all that you're above the blue line these aren't a trade this buy right here takes forever to develop this buy was pretty quick this retest failure so the action came after Yellen spoke the Fed is supporting the market. We can see it right here in this selling. Who would be buying with Yellen making those kind of comments? Um, the Fed. And they do and will continue to support the market. That's the only bright spot in the economy. I mean, the economy is really slowing down pretty quickly right now. And the fundamentalists talk about, they're starting to talk in terms of recession. They already say we're in a manufacturing recession. So... Um, the Fed is walking the tightrope that they built for themselves or they're into that box corner that they put themselves into. No easy way out. Looking at the F1 screen, higher low, higher high, find a place to buy it and um, come tomorrow. Looking at the F2 screen, we like the market. This is a good trade but based on Yellen's um, speech. Uh, here's the market that just comes right back. They went two ticks below 2100 at 99.50. That's uh, very obvious. Um, locals play, exchange members play, and here we are closing on the highs. So everything is pointed towards higher tomorrow. Uh, our news, we have productivity. Non-farm productivity expected off 6 tenths of percent. Unit labor costs up 4.1 percent. So we don't have news that's going to move the market. So, and again, selling failure to take out 12.50.15. Then 19 to uh, 21 will be sell 2. On the buy side, uh, 5 to 7. Trying to pick up this middle area right here. Might have to pay out, but I think we got a shot at that in London anyway. <clears throat> have to adjust for us later on then. 01 to 99 for buy two. Okay, it is a three-year auction tomorrow for treasuries. On the uh, buy side, ah, boy, 43.45. Then 39-41. Crudes, flirting with 50 bucks and not backing away from it. Um, the uh, support supposedly is coming from 
the loss of production in the United States and Canada and disruption to production in Libya and Nigeria. Low, higher, high. The market is pointed higher, trying to trade higher and doing a pretty good job at it, of it. And we definitely have a P. Wasn't put in as nicely as we'd like. So again, this 50 area plus or minus cell 1 is going to be 50 plus or minus. And our 50, 50, 50, 75 for cell 2. On the uh, buy side, 49 and a quarter, 49.50. Very, very aggressive. That's pretty good for London. We'll adjust it for us tomorrow. And then 48.75, 49 for buy two. They had pretty good calls today for the um, euro. Did just about what we thought it was going to. Caught both edges of the market very, very well. Higher low, higher high, trying to trade higher. So we didn't quite make it to 14. That was our number two sell zone. We got good trades out of our first sell zone, 65 to 75, down of our buy zone, 35 to 45. But so 90 to the buck, sell one. 25, sell two. On the buy side, 13.50. And 13.25 by 2. Okay, I um, had to pause the tape because of um, um, something stuck in my throat. And I thought I'd turned it back on, but I did not turn it back on. So there was no commentary on the financial state. So we've got the uh, e-mini. And we've got from gold on, but we don't have the uh, note in the 30-year. Uh, Apologize for that. But pilot error. And that's it for June the 6th, D-Day, 2016. Um, gosh, what it would be, 70 years ago. Amazing. Uh, Y'all have a great evening. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Uh, I'm out of here.